Hey guys, here's that GDA guy again with another video and today I want to talk about this absolute clown that you probably heard about already uh, but I wanted to cover this story because I think that's a really stupid and goofy situation. So the guy in question is the so-called uh, Florida Joker who is ridiculously trying to get some money uh, from Rockstar because as shown in the trailer uh, from GTA 6 there is a parody character that apparently is based on this dude. Now, it is true that probably uh, the developers of uh, GTA took inspiration on this guy to develop the character. But anyway, just like all of the other people that appear as a reference to Florida in the trailer, like this uh, Florida man uh, memes and shit. Nevertheless, this dude is the only one, at least that I saw, that is trying to get money out of this. Normally, you would think that uh, they would actually try to get their like uh, 50 minutes of fame kind of thing. But bro here, when the extra mile and is asking Rockstar for two million dollars. It's your boy, Joker Gang, Joker Gang, real fire, raw, cheap, alive. For everybody saying that I'm hallucinating, that I'm not the Joker from GTA 6, chill out your goddamn nuggets. That's me. That's the person that got the inspiration from. You see that? That? That's me. That's me. That's me. GTA, we. We gotta talk, GTA. We gotta talk. Or not, you gotta give me like a meal or two. So what's up? How at me, GTA, Rockstar Entertainment, Rockstar Games, Rockstar Enterprise. Florida Joke ain't having that. Y'all took my likeness. Y'all took my life. Look. So, like I said, uh, the guy has the nerve to ask uh, Rockstar for $2 million for this. And I just find this fucking hilarious. And apparently, I am not the only one that finds this way. Because recently, Roger Clark, who is the voice actor that played Arthur Morgan in uh, Red Dead 2, uh, addressed the situation and he made this uh, video response. GTA, we gotta talk. No, you don't. You don't need to talk to them. They're not going to talk to you. They've had people like you trying to sue them for decades. They are lawyered up, man. They know exactly what they can and cannot get away with. If I were you, I would use the notoriety that they just threw your way to my advantage. Capitalize it on it somehow. You ain't getting a job in Home Depot with that face. And I couldn't agree more with uh, Arthur here. I mean, not like this dude seems to want to get a job anyways. Funniest thing is that now he dyed his hair purple to look more similar to the GTA character and now he's asking for more money and even gave Rockstar a deadline. It's your boy, Trumpet 305, Raw Street Alive. You know what's going on, making worldwide news Killing the news for the last couple days. GTA, I'm giving you the biggest free marketing you got in entire history of running this GTA game. For, for that, I want an extra million dollars. Y'all taking forever to respond back to me. You see that? Find the other character. Find the other person in Florida they betrayed that character from. I'll wait. I will wait. GTA, we got the top. You think I'm playing? You got three days, three days before my lawyers go crazy on this case. This is it. This is not like the Lizzie Lohan case. This is not like the Lizzie Lohan case. I got hard evidence. Hard evidence. The only thing that's hard here is his six call, thinking that he's gonna get some of the GTA money. Now, you may be wondering, how did this clown end up gaining the notoriety so that he made it into the GTA game? Well, let me quickly summarize his anime origin story here. So this guy's name is uh, Lawrence Sullivan and on 2017 he got arrested by the Florida police for pointing a gun at passing cars. He was allegedly also arrested like uh, four years prior to this for a possession of marijuana. So he already had a criminal record prior to all of this situation. Well, according to his mother, he is mentally challenged or some shit like that. And surprisingly, according to his family, uh, specifically her sister, I think, uh, and again, this allegedly he is actually a good person who used to help uh, the homeless and his mother was sick and his mother said that uh, he's a good kid and that only people judge him because of his face tattoos and that this is uh, like an artistic form of uh, expression of his. So here's a fragment of the day that he was charged back in uh, 2017. The next one is, uh, this is Lawrence Sullivan. 
Pardon me? Oh, this is Mr. Sullivan? All right, good morning, Mr. Sullivan. You're charged one count of carrying a concealed firearm. I've appointed the Public Defender's Office to represent you. I'm gonna be taking a look at your arrest affidavit to see if there's probable cause and address your bond status, sir. Your Honor, I'm being told that Mr. Sullivan is declining the services of the public. Is defense. declining services, is that correct, sir? Who's talking to me? Who's asking me? Um, you don't want the Public Defender's Office to represent you? I mean, they can represent me, but I'm trying to get bonded out, my Honor. Well, they're there to help you, sir. You don't have a lawyer. All right. I mean, okay, so. Uh, I, I does not feel like. I didn't even feel like signing the paperwork. I'm really not in the mood for that. Okay, well, well you're you're, you're in custody. Okay, you're charged with. You're going in and out. I can't hear you, but on a firearms charge, I'm not going to do pretrial. Setting standard bond, five thousand dollars. Next case is Roberto Rodriguez. Uh, apparently he got also locked up again in 2018 due to another incident related to a uh, firearm offense. So basically that's all you need to know about the Florida Joker if you're interested in such useless information that is. I think this dude actually should be honored that he is put in fucking GTA game and it is probably the best thing that ever happened to him and instead of taking this chance to make something good out of it, he is making a fool of himself, threatening a rockstar for money when they couldn't give a single fuck about what this guy wants because like Roger Clark said, uh, rockstar know exactly what they can and what they cannot do. So my advice to this guy would be just enjoy your gonna be in the game bro and maybe get some cloud out of this and become a TikTok personality or some shit. So anyway, I think uh, that's about it for today and yeah, let me know in the comment section what do you think about this uh, whole situation and so yeah, that's pretty much about it. See ya.